Alrighty, we're getting closer and closer and closer to the summertime season, Matt Daniel. It's your and favorite season. Oh yeah. You love I, it. How'd you know that? Because I said it a million He's times. You told me several times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> Memorial Day, it's like the unofficial start of summertime. It's just 12 days away. That's not too long from now. And uh, June 1st will be, what, meteorological summer, the yeah. beginning of hurricane season. We'll try to ignore that part. Yes. <laughs> Father's Day is 32 days away and Juneteenth 35 days away. And when I think summertime, Mickey, I'm thinking the beach forecast. Well, dun, 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 because some folks might be headed down early, you know, to beat the crowds for the summertime. So if you are headed on down to the Gulf of Mexico, well, uh, we're at uh, 76 degrees as an average water temperature for this time of the year. So that's still a little bit nippy. Yeah, uh, but it's starting to warm up. In fact, we'll show you that temperature coming up shortly and mention that rip current threat. But uh, for the next couple of days, if you're heading down to the Gulf Coast, I think tomorrow looks pretty good. Uh, but Friday's looking kind of messy there. Yeah, a little bit, uh, a little bit of rainfall, but they say a rainy day at the beach better than a dry day at home or something like that. I don't know what they say, but uh, you mean like a rainy day at home is not as good as a rainy day at the beach? No, like a sunny day at oh, home. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, there's something like that. <laughs> <laughs> we're looking at your uh, UV index, of course. As we're getting closer to those summer months, that UV radiation is going to be pretty significant. So we're in that very high range for tomorrow. It might go down a bit though, going into Friday and Saturday. It's got more clouds and additional storm and rain chances. I mean, almost every time I go to the beach, I'll get a sunburn if I just don't uh, wear some. Type of protection. Pretty much. We there's, had, there's your water temperature there. Hey, hey, 77 degrees, so we're pretty close to normal for this time of the year. There is a uh, moderate rip current threat, which is pretty average for um, for tomorrow, but we get into Friday and Saturday with that storm system that's going to be affecting us as well. Um, that's a high rip current threat, so red flags. Yeah, storms, rain, wind, and a high rip current threat probably won't stay out of the water. Mm -mm. Not a good idea. Let's talk about that seven days, shall we? We shall. Uh, we have the same storm system, like I said, affecting that affects us for Friday into Saturday is headed to the beach. In fact, it might be a little bit stormier there uh, than it is here. Uh, most of that into South Alabama and the Florida Panhandle, but then it clears up just in time for next week and uh, temperatures in the 80s. That's that's pretty nice. Yeah, it's going to actually be a little bit cooler there than it will be here because we could be in the upper 80s going into next week. But hey, if you're out and about, got plans to go to the beach or anywhere you go, just make sure you download the WBRC First Alert weather app. Smile. Ding.